Hi guys. Um, so I had to leave it on my phone. Uh, it would have been better, better to memorize, but unfortunately there's just literally no chance. Um, I'm beyond happy to see everyone here tonight. Um, let's get this out of the way real quick. Um, my name is Michael, and I had the honor of being my brother's best man for the special event. This speech, without a doubt, was arguably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but I went home. I, I really did practice. Like, I, I tried to do things right. Um, <laughs> there are some uncontrollables, and those may be liquor, unfortunately, but they're also just my emotions. And... Um, I read this speech right here to my uh, <laughs> four-month-old dog, uh, <laughs> probably 20-ish times, and I, I would be a liar to tell you I didn't cry 18 out of 20. <laughs> and in my head, I thought, you know, I think there might be a liquor to speech ratio there, and so I tried to gauge the dog with the beer, and I go, yeah, we're, we're close. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was followed up by some really amazing speeches, and I know for a no doubt that I'm going to ball my eyes out here. So please just bear with me, because it's it, you know, I tried to I tried to follow the ratio, but we're not gonna make it. <laughs> um, I will let you know I was put under some very strict restrictions. Um, make it through tonight's speech coherently. Well, you know, to be honest with you, you'd think you would have chosen an easier word for the guy that you were worried about being a wild card. <laughs> Brandon must have forgotten it took me a couple tries at kindergarten. <laughs> but you live and you learn, and let's see how this thing goes. <laughs> I am absolutely elated to join this beautiful couple here tonight and celebrate their matrimony with all of you. I don't know if you guys noticed right there, but I used elated and matrimony. Two pretty big words. <laughs> Opened up the Webster and went straight to the words. <laughs> but I'll never forget the first time I met Sarah. And met's kind of a tough word because we did go to high school together, but we didn't really know each other that well, so Matt was met, you know. Um, <laughs> you cradle robin son of a gun. <laughs> well, we officially met when she helped me move back to Montana from college with my brother and mom. That's when I truly got to see the love of my brother's life. We had a big get together my last day there and it was a blast. It was probably literally too much fun. You could probably gauge that on me sleeping midday, but it's neither here nor there. But being in North Dakota, she did not know anyone other than Brandon, but it did not matter. She treated everyone around her like they were her best friend. She was fun, funny, and I could tell that Brandon meant the world to her. To sum it up, she was just an incredibly enjoyable person to be around and someone who created the atmosphere for everyone around her. This is when I had a feeling that she might be the one for Brandon. In the following days, I moved in with my brother. And not too shortly after, Sarah moved in too. We had talked about, you know, it's being the batch life, but <laughs> must have lost that somewhere along the way. And I also noticed in your guys' How We Met letters, we forgot about the third roommate. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, I know these were not the easiest days for the three of us, but she was always good to me, even when I was awful. And I could never thank the two of them enough. 
It's what family truly is about, and I appreciate it immensely. Of course, I did get evicted by the two of them. <laughs> but that story might be for another time. <laughs> so here's the part where I'll let the humor settle in a little and get to the heartfelt part. I've got pretty wicked allergies, so if it looks like I'm crying, eh, it's most likely just pollen or cotton, so don't be too concerned. <laughs> I think in life it's important for everyone to have a hero. Someone that you strive to be like, that motivates you to be the best man or woman you can be, and who drives you to the best version of yourself. For some, it might be the fancy athlete on Sundays dancing in the end zone. I love Chad Ochocinco and Terrell Owens, so I had mine too. For some, it might be the filthy rich man with a fancy lifestyle, and don't get me wrong, I always thought Dan Bilzerian was the coolest. And for others, it might be their parents. And believe me, we were blessed with two of the best of them. They went through a lot having us too. <laughs> and we love you guys immensely. But to me, none of those people could hold a light to my hero. Since I can remember, my hero was never infatuated with living a lavish lifestyle. He didn't need it. Never played sports to be in the limelight and certainly never needed the attention or recognition. No, my hero has looked out for others and didn't need a thing to make him happy. He always cared about others more than himself and someone that could light up a room just by being there. Do you guys know who my hero was? LeBron James, greatest basketball player of all time. You thought, you thought. So, so here's where I cry, and he was crying previously, but like he didn't know it was coming, so I can't blame him. <laughs> All jokes aside, it was literally always this man seated to the left of me. He was larger than life at everything he has ever done, and it was always the most amazing thing in the world to me. I dreamed of being him, or being better than him, at everything he ever did since the day I was born. I know it got annoying for him and probably most of his friends. <laughs> it drove him crazy on multiple occasions, but I always admired the way he gave everything his best. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> he always gave everything his best. And he was the difference for literally everyone around him. I really can't sum it up any other way than to say there is nobody like him. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad pollen in here. God dang. You guys leave the doors open all day or what happened? Like, we weren't doing this. Thought we were on the same page. There's a guy with really bad allergies. Like, not cool. Best man can't be doing this. Um, but I always prayed and he'd find the love of his life. And it may sound crazy to you, but I literally can remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> From the time I was literally able to know how to pray, I prayed every day that he would find the best person in this world. This, this is allergies, my God! <laughs> Anybody got a Zyrtec? Or... <laughs> uh, how they made it so long, too, before those bugs and allergies got my eyes. <laughs> I'm literally a soldier, but whatever. <laughs> um, but literally, I just prayed. I prayed every night because I knew who, who he was and how he was. And he would find someone that would highlight the things that made him incredible. <sighs> and someone that would love him unconditionally. And it's, without a doubt, the easiest thing I could ever tell you today. That Sarah is that person. She's amazing inside and out. The difference every day for those around her, an all-around incredible woman. I know without a doubt everything I prayed for came to life today. I wish you both the happiest days, laughter when it's tough, and an unconditional love for eternity. Always be your huckleberry. <laughs>